story about you and a guy I know. It happened at a little bar in Jersey a long time ago. I have made a few mistakes in my life, and that was one of the big ones. I was working at a joint called the Miami Club in Newark. And uh, it was a real tough joint. As a matter of fact, they call it the Bucket of Blood. And one night, I was doing the show. And there was a little, fat, ball-headed guy at the ringside. And uh, every time I came out to introduce an act or tell a joke, he would say something derisive, you know, nasty. And uh, I was heisting a few at the time. And I said to the owner of the joint, I said, that guy is driving me nuts. I said, now, if he doesn't stop, I'm going to take care of him. So I came out and, uh, another time, and he began to heckle. And I said, ladies and gentlemen, will you excuse me for a moment? I would like to invite this gentleman to step out on Clinton Avenue, and I'd like to take good care of him, and then we can do the show without any interruption. I never saw anybody get up as fast as this guy did. Now we get out on Clinton Avenue. I said, now you're going, and that's the last I remember. <laughs> the next uh, thing that I recall, I was on the floor of the cellar next to the furnace. A doctor was there, the owner of the joint, and they had brought me to, and I said to him, uh, who was that guy? He says, that was Tony Galento. I said, did you know it was Tony Galanto? He said, sure. I said, well, why didn't you tell me? He said, well, you're a wise guy. <laughs> you know, I thought I'd let you go up against him. But uh, that was really a big mistake. Did you ever fight him? No, Jackie, but you picked on the roughest, toughest street fighter in the fight game. Yeah, <laughs> but, uh, but uh, you know, a funny thing about fighters, uh, Rock, uh, with the exception of Galanto, I think fighters are the most gentle people I've ever met. Now, uh, when I uh, went up to train with you <laughs> and... Uh, uh, Massachusetts, I had never met a gentler man. And uh, Sugar Ray, I think, is a very gentle guy. In this same place, the Miami Club in Newark, I worked with Mickey Walker. He, he worked in the club. He had an act. Uh, never met a more gentle fellow. I met Jack Johnson, who was working in Newark at the time, at another club, a very gentle man. I think that uh, the, the reason that is, that if a fighter has a beef or has any steam that he wants to get off, he waits till he's in the ring and paid for it. That's right. They're all gentlemen. Jack, in preparing for a fight, we usually watch the movies of, uh, of the opponent that we're going to face and watch his style of fighting many, many times to get sort of like an idea of what to do to our opponent. We get his good points, his faults, what he does under pressure, um, things to watch out for, best punches to use. Now, um, it helps us an awful lot. Your characters, the way you do your characters, you do them so perfect. Uh, a long time ago, I had found that one character can't do all types of comedy. Because uh, if he tries to, he begins to press. And uh, also, it's, uh, it's not sympathetic with the way he performs. So I thought that the best way to enter all fields of uh, particular kinds of comedy was to have a character that did a particular kind of comic. For instance, uh, Reggie Van Gleason is the uh, loud, boisterous, hokey comedian. And the poor soul is the one that handles the, the nice and kind and generous kind of comedy. And Charlie Bratton, the la loudmouth, is the, is the epitome of the man who's insecure and takes it out on the little guy, Clem Finch. And of course, the honeymooners is the as the guy that's struggling to make a living and keep a family together and be a hero in his wife's eyes. And, of course, he has that uh, beautiful neighbor, Art Carney, <laughs> who uh, I think belongs with all of the great champions. Yeah. Carney is a champion. Yes, he is. Just beautiful. There's the bell for the main event and a great bout, the Maselli bratton fight. Two slugging welterweights in a murderous battle that takes years off your fight life. Let me tell you about it as I saw it. Madison Square Garden, 1952. Maselli is a three to one underdog tonight, but I think if I were a betting man, I would take the underdog. Here's Maselli in the black trunks. Maselli starts winging. Bratton, watch that left hand of his. Joe is a crazy looking punch, but it's the most dangerous single shot this division has ever seen. See what I mean?
Maselli's body sways when he throws that left. But don't let that fool you. He's balanced. His feet are flat on the floor, and he gets all the leverage he needs. That one came from under the floor. That's Maselli for you. Crazy kind of a wild guy from the New York's east side. Joe has Bratton watching that left. Johnny Bratton, I'm reading you. You're laying back and looking for that one big shot. There it is, a big right hand. Hold on to him, Joe. And when you get out of this, keep those hands up or it's going to take four guys to carry you out of there. Good Miss Sally left. Harry Kessler makes him take an eight count. I'd like to climb right in there and tell Joe to keep that left hand higher. He's a sucker for a straight right. Bratton is fighting wrong, too. Taking too many left hooks. He should drop his head into Maselli's chest when Joe starts that left. Then the punch will go right around his neck. go catching those hooks again Bratton who taught you to pull away from a left hook that's for amateurs you're a good fighter get that head in there Maselli has no way to stop Bratton's right hand. Joe keeps his left hand low so he can throw those uppercuts. Roughen, Joe. You're way stronger. you know this fight isn't going the distance. These two guys are just standing up and looking for a knockout. They're not worried about boxing to win any decisions. They want the KO. Terrific Brat and Wright. Get close, Joe. You're better off. Hands up, Joe. You're wide open. The bell saves Maselli. And here's Dan Florio with the sponge. And does Joe need it? He's got to do something about those big right hands. Look at this. He can't wait to come out. Every time Bratton starts a right, I flinch. I know he can't miss Maselli with it. I sit in a fight and see a guy like Bratton get hit with these hooks. 
I just go crazy. What is Bratton trying to prove? He's brave. Get that head down. Maselli uses his chin for a defense. It's great for the fans. He's got him screaming. But if I was his manager, I'd murder him. There hasn't been a body punch thrown so far because these two guys are so mad, they just can't fight intelligently. When you get mad in the ring, all you find yourself doing is throwing at the other guy's jaw. You forget everything. That's why you have to keep that temper. Never lose your head in a fight. is almost gone from a right hand. The bell saves him. Jackie, what do you think of this battle so far? I've never seen a fight like this in my life. And it doesn't let up a bit all the way through. When you buy a bargain basement PC, what you're really buying is a mystery box. Will there be a monitor? Probably not. Lots of software? Ha! Ah, a year on the internet, 24-7 tech support? Dream on. With a Gateway Essential PC, you know exactly what you're getting. Monitor, great software, award-winning tech support, and internet access for $25 a month or less than a dollar a day. No mystery there. Call 1-800-GATEWAY for a Gateway Essential PC with an Intel Celeron processor. If you're ready to lose weight, muscle up, and get back into shape, I've got a free video you're going to love. Introducing a winning fitness strategy. you got to eat healthy, drink plenty of water, and most importantly, strength train with both legs. Strength training adds muscle. Not only does your shape look better, you actually increase your metabolism, so you end up burning more calories. Strength training these days isn't just for men. It's great for women, too. And Bowflex is designed for both. It's even been called the best home gym by Fitness Magazine. Use as little as 5 pounds to more than 400 pounds of resistance. Follow our six-week fast fat loss program or create your own from over 60 different health club quality exercises. Bowflex is easy to own and it fits in any room in your house. It comes with a six-week guarantee on results and you can finance it with no money down and payments as low as $33 per month. Hey, I'm 41 and I'm in the best shape of my life. And I can tell you, Bowflex really does work. For a free video and brochure on the machine that can help you get into great shape at any age, call right now. ESPN Classic. Are you old school? Hey, I'm at the hottest club in Chicago to talk about dandruff. Hey! That one got dandruff! No, I haven't. Oh, no. Yeah, whatever. Someone's lying. Mm -hmm. Flakes are normal and they're easy to get rid of, big guy. Hey, uh, you want to get shampooed with Dandruff Control Perk Plus? Oh, serious? It's like 12 o'clock at night. It helps prevent dandruff. So even if you don't have it, you won't have it. And I think you're going to want to use it on a regular basis. I love it. So nice. Oh, oh baby. Yeah. That's Perk Plus Dandruff Control. Come on, let us wash your hair. <laughs> we can change your mind. You're watching the main event on ESPN Classic. Bratton's carrying the right very high to protect his eye, but it's his best hand against Michelli. What do you do? Protect the badly cut eye, or forget it and try to knock the other guy's brains out? Throw the punch, Johnny. Michelli's feet are flat on the floor. He wants all the power he can get into punches, and power comes from the feet. When you hit a guy real good, you feel it, right in the ball of your front foot. There, Bratton finally slipped the hook by ducking in, like he should. If he does that some more, he may come out of here alive. Both these boys are starting to fall apart. This has been a murderous pace. Whoever trained the hardest could win, 
And the first one to get really tired has got to get murdered. Bratton is stalling while he tries to catch his breath. This business he's doing here means nothing. There's Maselli rolling away from that right hand. It looks good. Only one or two great fighters can do that consistently and not get hurt. Maselli better block and counter. Maselli got away from all those punches. See those shoulder fakes. It means Maselli's tired. He's trying to bluff Bratton while he takes a breather. Maselli out strong behind those left hooks. But here's real trouble. Look at his feet. He's not moving. The legs have gone dead on him. When you get tired in the ring, it's the worst feeling in the world. You want to quit, and, but you can't. You want help and nobody to give it to you. Maselli's punches aren't coming in as strong. This is a spot to get tired. Better get close to him, Joe, and pray for a second win. This hopping is strictly to fool Bratton. He wants Johnny to think he isn't tired. He'll stop dead again in a second. There's one thing I know. This fight is not going the distance. But who's going first? That miss took more out of Maselli than a whole round could. Maselli's almost gone. Ooh, what a right. Get low and fight inside, Joe, or you won't last this round. When a guy hurts you like this, it's way better to stay close than to try to run away. That ring can get awful small. You can't bluff your way in a fight. Right now, Maselli is paying for all the nights he stayed up playing cards and not doing road work. Bratton could end the fight right here if he would go to the body. Maselli would have to fold. But Johnny only wants to win it one way. A clean shot on the button. Bratton's eye isn't bleeding now. It looks like the fighter's hairs if he can get to Joe with one more good punch. Throw that left, Joe. Keep the guy off you. I'm not rooting for Maselli. I really don't care who wins it. But I'm getting soft, I guess. I can't stand to watch a kid take a beating. The left, Joey. Throw it.
Stratton is jabbing strong. He's starting to set up Maselli for a right hand. Look out, Joe. Terrific right. Sorry for Joe. Hang on, Maselli. The round is nearly over. What a shot! Joe doesn't know what happened. He got right up. He should have stayed down and taken a nine count. Here's the doctor. Maselli must know his name. They let it go on. This is no good. Maselli's gonna get hurt. Come on, Kessler, stop it, will you? Good boy, it's over. And here's Maselli. He came awful close tonight. And here's Brett. And John, I know just how close you came to blowing this one. Ponder this. ESPN Classic. Jackie, in this fight with Maselli and Bratton, it was a real great fight. I want to tell you about that Maselli. The first time I ever saw him in the gym, he was so good, he was so great, that all the, the old fight veterans just stopped and watched this young welterweight work out. He was the best looking prospect uh, they had seen in many a year. Is he still fighting? He's still fighting. 15 years now, he's had a long, he's had a good career, uh, he's had the best fights were uh, six and seven years ago, and I just wish that he wouldn't continue to fight because he was so good, and he's not looking too good these days. So has uh, Br Bratton's retired? Bratton had to stop yeah. fighting, and here's a fellow that had a great career, a short one, but he did go on to win the NBA title, and was really dangerous, feared while he was in there. I think he fought a little past his time, too. Well, I guess, you know, uh, all fighters uh, have a tough time quitting. I know that you're itchy. Yes, it is a tough thing to quit, believe me. <laughs> Jack, I've made up a pair of golden gloves, my good luck charm. I'd like all my guests to keep as a reminder that the road to the top is a long one, and you've got to keep punching to get there, and you've got to punch to stay there. Thank you very much, Rocky. I appreciate this, and I'll cherish it. I'd also like to say that it's always a pleasure to be on a program or associated with a champion. And in my mind, you're one of the greatest champions of all times. So this has been one of the most pleasurable occasions of all times for me. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you, Rocky. <laughs>